Our next test is going to be trying to figure out the shape of this molecule H2, H2CO. It's actually formaldehyde. And uh, here's our chemical equation. We have to figure out what VSEPR will have. We have a central atom and three uh, terminal atoms and figuring out how many free electron pairs we'll have. We don't know that yet, but we know the fact that we have four atoms probably means that we started with this and maybe we have some free electron pairs. Also, we know that carbon has four electrons uh, in its valence shell. Oxygen has six and hydrogen has one. Since carbon is the lowest uh, electronegativity uh, atom of the bunch, not including hydrogen, we'll put that in as the central atom. So we have uh, carbon in the middle, two hydrogens and an oxygen. So we'll put oxygen on one side, the two hydrogens on the other side, probably something like that, single bond with the hydrogen, and oxygen, since it has six valence electrons, it wants to have eight, it probably wants to form a double bond with carbon. That means that carbon now has four bonds, using up all four of its valence electrons. Oxygen will have six valence electrons left. Oh no, not six, because it used up two of its electrons. Uh, it used up two of its electrons in the bond, so it only has four electrons left, so there's only two free pairs like that. But those two free pairs are on the outside atom, not on the central atom, so therefore we don't have any free electron pairs on the central atom, so it's actually zero, or better yet, it's an AX3 shape. In other words, one central atom, three terminal atoms, and no free electron pairs, which means that all of them will probably end up in the same plane, so it's gonna have a planar shape, and since it has three appendages sticking out, it's gonna look like a, tri a triagonal, uh, trigonal or tri uh, trigonal shape, triagonal shape, yeah, that's kind of what it means. Uh, so we'll have what we call a trigonal planar shape or a trigonal planar shape, however you want to pronounce that. And that means that all the atoms will fall in a single plane. We have the carbon in the middle. We have hydrogen sticking out on two sides like this and a double bond, don't have to really write the double bond here to an oxygen, all in the same plane. And so that's what the general shape of that molecule has to be. Uh, why will it not like be sticking out? Why will oxygen not stick out? Well, the repulsive forces between these electrons and these electrons here will cause them to be as far away from each other as possible. So it'll stretch out into a single shape in such a way that the angles in this direction here will have to be 180 degrees, forcing them to be in the same plane. So therefore that will be the shape of the, of the molecule formaldehyde.